Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Oh, it's good to see that big yellow thing back there, isn't it? Um, bit of a mixed up video this time, I've got a few bits and pieces to, to show you. Um, moved the garage, I know. Building a new garage up at our house and uh, had a drunken idea one night. We didn't do it drunkenly, but we had the idea drunkenly to uh, pick the garage up, stick it on a trailer and uh, drive it down the road. So that's exactly what we did. Um, Set stock on these girls, prelim vaccinations, condition scoring, uh, what else did we do? Drafting them up into their groups. Um, yeah, and something else that I can't remember, but you'll see it because it'll be in the video. Heavier triplets all, uh, what do they have there? Five in one vaccine in the side and drench. <clears throat> there goes the, the lighter ones there. They're not, they're not particularly light, but uh, yeah, sorry, I just called out left, right, or straight 450 times. I'm <coughs> drafting these girls up. So, yeah, all done. Bit of a shit of a job, but uh, got there in the end. Always a lot to do these girls a wee bit early. They're three weeks off lambing. Um, so far, everything's looking pretty happy. We've tried to do it sort of a week before in the past and found that uh, get a lot of metabolic issues. So they're going on plenty of feed. Um, this girl's not quite so much, but they're going to be spread out a little bit thinner. Um, yeah, so it'll be 60 there, 60 there, and about 45 up there. Uh, 30 on this paddock, and each one of those breaks there will have 30. Split in four. Um, yeah, better go get them spread out, I suppose. All right, so we're going to try and count 60 through here. <clears throat> the voice still hasn't recovered. Come on, girls. Walk up, Slim. Walk up, Slim. Way back there behind them. They get very arrogant, these girls, because they're bloody living on grass and fed uh, sheep nuts every day. They don't get very scared, right. Fifty nine, I'll make that. That'll be fine. Uh, we'll try and get one more. Eh? See what happens. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Perfect. There they go. <clears throat> so that area, there's the brake fence here. That area there is approximately five hectares. And that is home to these sheep. Well, they'll get shuffled around a bit in say six weeks time, we'll start moving things around. But realistically, that area is allocated to them until uh, middle of December. It's been quite good. Um, we put them through that Prattley scale unit that we got, that animal handler to do this job. and. It's a big job, but in one go, we are drenching with the side down injectable drench. We're vaccinating, two separate shots. Should probably be using UGARD, but uh, it's $2 instead of $1.20 or something like that. Um, what else are we doing to them? Drafting them all in one go and condition scoring. So uh, yeah, it, you sort of put them in the machine and they get everything done to them at once. When I say condition scoring, we're not going all out and giving them a, an official score but uh, just taking the lighter ones out basically. So the idea being, we won't have great big fat bolshy use with lighter poor doing use, um, because to be fair, one of the reason I was using them like that is because the big fat ones are a bit of bullies and they bully the lighter ones out of grass. So lighter ones on their own, there's lighter ones down there too. The uh, other ones I put over there before, um, I was gonna spread them out the next two paddocks, but there's a heap of grass in the water to put them in, and these other ones just need to catch up a wee bit. So we might just leave them there for a week, and uh, literally all we've got to do is count them out um, into the paddocks. So it's not quite like being put through the yards for a couple of hours and uh, 
poked with needles and put through a machine and yeah so I don't think we'll have any issues doing that but just to let the feed sort of even out a wee bit. Second light coming, I only want 30 this time. Thirty one, have a loss. Right. Here slim, here slim, here slim. Good boy. Hey, here slim. Here slim. Hey, the kid. Yeah. What do you reckon? You gotta get up. Slim, get up. Get up. Gonna make me look bad on camera, dog. Slim, go get up. Good boy. Last one, girls. 29 this time, but uh, I'll take 28 to 30. Want it reasonably good, but doesn't have to be exact. Fourteen. I'm at that thirty. Tell me if you think I'm wrong. So yeah, <laughs> this is what I mean about those other girls. So these are the heavy ones. Um, there can't be a feed there. There's other paddocks over this way. Just, just haven't quite got that colour on them yet. Um, they'll get there. As a matter of interest, this is actually all winter grown grass. This is a younger paddock with really good fertility. But uh, I think there are also peas in here pushing 30 anyway. That one behind us is 32, but it was grazed off about. Oh, look back through the videos, it was it three or four weeks ago, I suppose? Maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe four weeks ago, I suppose. Um, so the grass does grow quite well over winter here. It, it grows quite well for winter. Um, nothing like summer growth, obviously, but yeah, it's quite good now. We're getting a fair bit of young grass around the place where what have we only got. Uh, a year and a half of cropping left and we've been right around the whole farm so some of those paddocks were 18 months years old and uh, in two years time regrassing down two years from now we will have the whole farm regrassed within 11 years which is uh, quite nice so it makes a big difference in the shoulders of the season the younger paddocks just grow earlier start growing and maturing later so it makes a huge difference in the year bloody calves the other thing was I'd forgotten about, these bloody things. So we've got quite a few of them actually, turned up nice and early. Um, got 31 here, Herefords and Sherlows. These ones here are uh, particularly friendly. They're, yeah, more of a western southland. Very, very um, cheeky. Problem with them is, you can't walk into the pen without being molested. So uh, they're getting about four litres of milk a day. Come on guys, out of there. There we go. They're so friendly, they're just so not scared of you, that uh, they will do what they want and there's nothing you can do about it. Quite enjoy having a sleep. They basically drink, eat, drink milk, eat, drink water, eat straw, um, sleep and where are we? There. Keep following me. Skip around all day. So yeah, they're just splitting the bigs and smalls, so these are the, the bigger ones of this lot. And then the smaller ones, um, when I say bigs and smalls, it's just just the different sizes they're born at, so uh, yeah, it reduces that competition. Although he's a pretty big source. Yeah. And then inside the woolshed here, we've got some wee Anguses. Now, these ones are right wee characters. They're uh, not as friendly as the other ones outside, but they've certainly got some character. They're very cheeky wee buggers, aren't you just? Eh? They're uh, very Angusy, very uh, strong willed, stroppy, but they do bloody well and they're tough wee buggers. They finish really well. So, yeah, got 16 of these here. There's another, hopefully, 14 to come. See how that goes. But yeah, great at this time of year to just about have their numbers. So, you all fed on uh, milk powder. We just mix it up daily. It's a bit of work, it's all mixed up in buckets. Um, there's the powder. The car. This is supposed to be great, they seem to be loving it. Love this powder. Always used, well, we haven't always, but quite a few years now we've used whole milk powder because we've sort of found we get far better results on it. Um, some people prefer away, whatever works for you, I guess, but we prefer the uh, whole milk for sure. Well, it's happening. Personally, I think I did pretty good back in that trailer all the way in there. 
Um, didn't do very good measuring it though. Thought the trailer was longer than the shed, so let's stuff things up a bit. Right, big girl. Right, right, right. That sounded weird. Go have a look. Oh, this is sketchy as fuck. I'm gonna get a beam under there. Yeah. Right, so after a few errors and a uh, couple of stubbies of trying to work all this out, that wooden beam was not strong enough. The steel one at the back is plenty strong enough. Uh, two wooden beams tech screwed together was not strong enough. The only thing I could find is that 10 inch RSJ I beam, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it'll be strong enough, but as I lower this down, I will not have a drink because you've got to be a bit sensible with these things and uh, I did weld that beam in the middle and that does concern me a lot but at this stage looks like that's got the weight there now let's see very very nearly the front of the tractor's coming up we are away Let's see what happens when we back out here, hang on. Ugh. This isn't just sketchy shit, this is scary shit. So there's a new garage going into this house. And we thought we might try and save this old one for a bike shed down at the other house. Ah, uh, look at that. Bingo! So, we made it. We uh, got to a destination, there's the old TM in the background about to uh, do some more sketchy shit. But uh, yeah, we did not just tow a garage down the road like 2Ks, I promise you, would never do anything like that. Never ever, wouldn't dream of it, no way, no way. Yeah I know that's broken, I did that in the trees the other day with the post jammer on, but uh, we'll get it fixed. But yeah, she towed down the road pretty well actually. You can see the strops inside, they're working away quite well. Ooh. Creaking, now they're going to change over, the blue one's going to pull tight and the other one's going to go slack. No, the other way around, sorry. Still going. Hasn't fallen over yet. I reckon right about there is perfect. Want to see something cool? Please don't fall to bits, please don't fall to bits, please don't fall to bits. Should be far enough. Just far enough. Swing that around. Can we look under there. Not quite off the other side yet. Ah. Bugger. Hang on. We'll go to the other side, eh? I forgot that was in my way. Can we? Yeah. Yep. No. Nope. Right, we'll lift her up further. There we go. All clear. Get it. Well, that went a wee bit roughly, but it went. So now we just got to get this girl out of the road. Jeez, yes. Now, I am a little bit concerned because uh, this big steel beam at the front weighs about 200 kilos and I'm here on my own. The load is going to be up there, holding the roof up. So I'm going to try and manhandle it. I think I'll put it back on the trailer. And uh, A, that saves having to worry about picking it up. And B, it's on the trailer to take away. So, we'll see how we go. So, we're off the beam. We're held up there. But... Uh, this is a little bit sketchy, I must admit, because I've now got to go in there. Oh, sorted. Yeah, you guys didn't need to see that. And we have touched them. Um, it's not quite perfectly straight. 
but we will sort that out in time. Oh, that spouting took a bit of a beating, but that's alright, we can probably straighten that out or replace it. Um, yeah, she's not far off. You sort of get an idea on that wall there. So we're just going to lift that corner. The other three corners are good. Lift that corner and put a bit of stuff underneath it, and we'll be good. They even managed to get the land to to stay there. Awesome. Now, uh, yeah, just remember, guys, this is just a, a shed from Motorbike. Um, there's a new garage being built up at home. So we just didn't want to see this one go to waste. We thought, well, I'm going to move down here and I'll put my dog kennels right uh, where are we? there one day. Um, under the tree, north that away, so they get all the sun, but they get shade. Um, just thought it would be really handy to have a shed here. So here we are. Success. So anyway, guys, uh, New Zealand is back in lockdown now. Level 4 lockdown nationwide for a few days. We've got a few cases of the... Delta variant in the community, so gotta work out where that came from. See if they can screw it down. Um, it's pretty much business as usual for us. We uh, we weren't going anywhere at this time of year. We weren't planning to go on holiday or even go to town really. Sarah might have been a little bit, not me anyway. Um, so yeah, it's sort of didn't really worry us too much, but we hope they get her under control and get us back to zero community cases. Would be awesome. But yeah, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we will see you next time.